what's good y'all today we're making a wig and we're using this melt hd closure and bundles from jenna collection and y'all i got this from the hair store and it was only like 200 dollars, so i think it was pretty good um there's the closure it looks really good to me um it is pre-plugged so you can see it's not really like too thick in the hairline so if you don't want to plug it you don't have to so it is good for beginners but i did end up plugging it at the end the bundles are 22 20 and 18 and it's a body wave so hopefully it'll look cute after i get done if not then i'll add curls to it um first we're making the bleach for the knots now i'm using 30 volume developer and i'm using a cream kind so you kind of gotta add as you go to get your consistency right you do want it to be thick enough where you can spread it but you don't want it to be too thick and you also want it not to be too thin so keep that in mind now first i'm um adding some got to be to the hair and i'm gonna comb that through just to keep the hair out the way when i bleach the knots because you don't want bleach on the hair y'all that's a whole nother problem you gotta fix so yeah we trying to stay clear of problems now um y'all just seen the bleach i don't know if y'all can kind of see how thick it was but you just gonna spread it on here like some peanut butter or like you know any other type of sandwich and yeah, and I let it sit for about 30 to 45 minutes, y'all. 30 volume developer takes a minute. So yeah, and I just lay it on the floor, let it sit, and then I'm gonna come back and wash it. So this is what the closure turned out to look like. I did have somebody pluck it some more for me. So yeah that's why it looks the way it does now um you want to pin your closure down before you start sewing and you want to make sure that it's flat because if it's not flat it's gonna be bumpy and you don't want that so make sure it's flat um i'm using clothes pins y'all i ran out of t pins so yeah um the way i'm sewing it though i'm just sticking it through the thickest part of the closure and then i'm just uh wrapping the thread around before i pull the needle all the way through and that just make like a blanket stitch um i'm not sure if everybody else sews it like this but this is just the way i've always sewn it um you can just go over and under if you want but i feel like that's not as secure so that's why i do it like this to make sure that it's not gonna come out So now we're getting ready to sew the tracks on and y'all one time I made a wig and it was like way too thick. So um, this time I'm measuring out how far I'm going to space the tracks out and I'm using um, a little tape measure. Now I'm just doing everything one inch apart and I'm using this little uh, eyeliner. I recommend using something like an eyeliner pencil or something like that because I don't like the silver sharpie. I feel like. You can see that so that's why i'm using this um and this is how it looks uh right now i kind of got it like just going straight around you kind of got to arrange the lines where in the middle it kind of like overlap a little bit because you know your head kind of curves over so you do want to make sure you accommodate for that um when i'm sewing the tracks though y'all like you can't see in this one because i didn't really pin this one down but i do pin the tracks down before i sew them it makes it so much easier as you can see i'm trying to like kind of hold it and do it and it's just it's extra so i recommend pinning it down before you sew now with sewing when i'm at the end of a track or at the beginning i'm going through the track with the needle after i sew that down about two or three times then the rest of it i just go um underneath it and so like on top and the thread just holds it
Okay, so one thing that I didn't tell y'all, and I kind of wish I would have got it on camera, but um, sometimes I do double whiff, which you kind of seen it in the last clip that I've had too, that I had overlapped the tracks. And that just helps, like, you got to kind of, like, watch how you're spacing and how much hair you got. But you can double whiff, just make sure you're not overusing your hair where you don't have enough to put at the top. And it just helps it be, like, more fuller when you get done with the wig. Now, I will say that I did not cut any tracks. I'm just flipping it over. I know some people don't like to do that because it can make it look bulky. But as long as you sew the ends down really good to make sure that it's flat, you'll be fine. And now you can see me um, sewing the track closest to the closure, y'all. And I sew right after the closure. I do not leave no space because I don't want it to look thin after the lace, y'all. That's not a cute look. So I sew it really close. I don't know if you post to or not. I don't know. I just do. So yeah and as you can see like how i was telling y'all about me going underneath the track instead of through it this is what i mean and i'm just wrapping the thread around the needle and then i'm pulling it through this is the wig y'all after i done washed it um, I thought the curl pattern would be a little bit better, but, eh, so, we're gonna have to do something else about that. Right now, I'm cutting a, um, wig cap from underneath the lace, and you just want to cut really close to your threads that you stitched, and this is what it looks like. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I like the quality of the hair for how much I paid, and from where I got it from, and I worked with Jenna Collection before, and this video isn't sponsored, but I do like their products, and I do recommend this for beginners, y'all. It's, it's decent hair um i decided to put crimps in it so this is after i didn't blow dry the hair and uh you want to use heat protector when you blow dry because y'all a wig will get frizzy really really quick and it's not it. like as you can see like the hair is kind of frizzy so i wish i would use more heat protector but yeah i recommend heat protector for sure um we're gonna have to do section by section for the crimps because if you don't it's gonna be a big mess. Um, I'm using some chi heat protector and I'm just putting it on each section as I go. So I'm taking that, I'm running it through, and then you're gonna to wanna to take some got to be and you're gonna spray it on the top, but spray far so it don't make the hair so stiff, but it'll keep the the curl and it won't fall and it'll last all day. And then after you comb it through, you're just gonna take your crimps and y'all make sure you turn it upside down and you just um go down the hair now every time uh you move the crimps you want to make sure you start right where you stop and that'll give it a uniform look and y'all it's really really easy like it's easier than i thought it was gonna be so yeah i recommend this too All right, so y'all, I forgot to do an outro or record me finishing curling the wig. So this is how the wig turned out, y'all. I think it's really, it's decent. It's really straight. I like it. I think it's good for what I paid for it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to pop that like button, tap that bell, comment, subscribe, share. Follow me on all social media links down below. And I'll see y'all in the next one.